my son was 15, he was uh, learning to drive. We had been over in Indianapolis visiting my parents, one who had been in the hospital, and Evan had made that trip with me. And as we got ready to drive back to Bloomington, which is a two and a half hour drive, he said, Mom, can I drive? I, I get the hours, you know, on my learner's permit. And I said, sure, that'd be fine. So we got in the car and we began to drive. And he's a, a he was a really safe driver at that point in time. He'd had maybe three or four months under his belt and was doing really well. And somewhere on the other side of Champaign, so somewhere between Champaign and Bloomington, all of a sudden the car began to sputter. And as it began to sputter, he, he's trying to figure out what's wrong, and, and the power steering went out, and so I helped him get the car over to the side of the road, and he's like, Mom, what is wrong with the car? And I said, I don't know, I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. And finally, I figured it out. And I said, Evan, honey, E means empty. <laughs> he says, what, I ran out of gas? It appears so. Now, God had been working on me with this grace stuff. But I want you to know there was this little battle going on on the inside of me. It went something like this. Kill the kid. Kill the kid. <laughs> Give grace. Kill the kid. Give grace. And it was this tug of war between what I wanted to do and what God was asking me to do. Between my flesh and his spirit in my life saying, I want you to do this differently. So finally, we sat there for the longest time because I had this battle going on in my head and Evan knows nothing about it, but this thing's going on in my head. And finally he goes, Mom, say something. <laughs> and I finally said, you know what, Evan? It's okay, because we all make mistakes. And you know what? I forgot to mention that it was like um, 10 degrees below zero outside. Yeah, it was in the middle of the winter. So we sat there in this very, 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 very cold car waiting for a tow. And I had the most precious hour with my 15-year-old son. Precious hour. <laughs> I had a captive audience. He could go nowhere. <laughs> but here's the best thing. If I would have blown that, it could have been the longest hour of our lives. If I would have gotten angry with him and I would have operated out of my flesh and what I wanted to do in my anger instead of letting God change my heart and do it a new way and do it his way, even though it wasn't the way I felt like doing, but the way I was, knew I needed to choose to do, I would have missed that opportunity with my then 15-year-old son. And you know, when you got 15-year-old kids, you, your time with them is pretty precious. And you don't have those one-hour conversations very long. 